It's time for my two cents. Somehow Christmas and presents are as synonymous as salt and pepper. It's ironic because the angel said in Luke chapter two, quote, fear not for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Well, those tidings he promised certainly didn't mean toys. He meant the birth of Jesus. Somehow commercialization has consumed many of our religious holidays from Christmas and Easter to Hanukkah and Rosh Hashanah. The other night while helping Santa wrap my children's presents, I couldn't help but reflect on a story my grandfather used to share. When he was a child, he was lucky to get an orange or apple for Christmas. Wow, I thought, we are blessed. It's important for children to understand blessings go beyond what's under the tree. We've been reading books about the nativity, singing songs about Bethlehem. It's neat to see the curiosity in my young son's eyes as he asks about baby Jesus. Presents do have a purpose. After all, the wise men brought gifts to the manger that night. It's fulfilling to give and receive tangible gifts bought or made with thought and care. But it's nice to let the give stand alone sometimes. Money is tight for a lot of families this year. Acts of kindness don't need to be elaborate or expensive. Participate in your workplace donation drive or do a closet clean out for your local thrift store. How about volunteering at your local food bank? Let's enjoy the festivities of the season without neglecting the reason for them. Spreading love, hope and joy is a present that is priceless.